Second time around, hey, second time around. Second time around, oh, second time around. Second time around, hey, second time around. one of these babies. This is the snake bean, a variation of the Chinese python bean. Okay, this grows out in my backyard. So grab one of these peelers, I prefer these peelers, so you can get a good grip on this. And all you have to do is peel it, just like that. So I'm just peeling this until you can see that it's been peeled nicely. All right, what I'm gonna do is cut the ends off and then inside is like a, just finish peeling that up. Okay, inside you'll see it's, it's really quite furry. It's, um, it's where all the seeds are. Now if you let this to rot a little bit, the bean is when it's got the skin on, what you can do is you can grab the seeds and you can replant them. Now these grow as a vine um, and there's some pictures attached that I've put on. And you can see that it just grows and grows and grows. And it's a beautiful vine actually. So what I'm going to do, you can, I'm going to get a small knife. I'm going to cut it in half. All the way through. Making sure that when you cut, you cut away from your body. You don't cut towards like this. You cut either that, like that or to this side. Okay? So when you see, you can see this. These are all the beans, beans and seeds. I'm not sure if you can eat these or not. I wouldn't. The locals don't, so I don't think we should. Like a cucumber. It smells like a cucumber. It looks like a cucumber. But you just need to cook it al dente. All right. So I'm just cleaning this a little bit. Now remember guys, if you've got a garden, a small vegetable garden, a small herb garden, make sure your peelings go inside there. It's the best nutrition that plants can get. This is my compost bin. That will go out into our big garden later on, once I'm done. So, this is the products of a nicely cleaned bean. There's heaps of stuff that you can do with this. You can, uh, you can stir fry it, you can saute it, you can steam it. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're going to stuff it. So I'm going to cut it into... equal length pieces, like so. And we're going to stuff it with some pork mince. And um, we'll get back to you with the pork mince recipe. Alright guys, we're back with the snake bean dish. All right, so remember the snake beans? Now these were called the Chinese python snake bean. Um, there's two varieties there, um, obviously a darker green one and a lighter green one. Um, so we used the lighter green one, we peeled it this morning and we cut it in half and then we took all the seeds out and this is it. One we prepared earlier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stuff it with a nice Asian pork mince. Okay, so I've got some pork mince, uh, we've got some salt, we've got some cracked pepper, we've got some uh, sesame oil, if you can get peanut oil is better, uh, we've got some nice crushed ginger, some nice sliced garlic, uh, soya sauce, some canola oil, an egg, fresh spring onions and fresh coriander. It's really quite simple, everything just goes in the mix. Now remember not too much salt because of the soy sauce. The soy sauce is salty. We put the sesame oil, the beautiful garlic. Beautiful ginger. Uh, pepper I've already done, oops. Uh, spring onion, loads of spring onion and loads of coriander. Now the recipe is at the start of this of this uh, of this video. Uh, now what I want to do is before 
before we go any further, we need to season the bean, okay? Because if not, it's just going to taste like water. So a bit of salt, a bit of pepper. Alright. Now the egg is used to bind everything together. It's like glue. So we put that egg in. I've lightly whisked it so the white and the uh, yolk is together. Best tools in the kitchen is clean hands. Uh, you can use gloves if you like, but my hands are clean, I assure you. You can smell it. You can smell the sesame oil. You can smell the ginger. You can smell the coriander. This is going to be epic. Alright. That's nice and mixed. Now what are we going to do? We're going to just stuff each of the snake beans with a little bit of the mix. You don't want it too thick or too tight or too high. If not, it's just going to be raw in the middle and um, cooked on the outside. Alright. So what I've done here, like so. Don't pack it in. Like I said, if not, it's just going to be raw in the inside once everything else is cooked, the outside is cooked. Now, all that flavour from that pork, the fat from the pork, the oil, the sesame oil, is going to go inside that bean. And it's going to be delicious. What you can do is you can put some breadcrumbs on the top, um, but we're going to try and keep this gluten free. The soy sauce is gluten free. I've used, a, uh, I've used the uh, gluten free soy sauce for this, um, so we can make it gluten free. Obviously if you have more snake bean you can put some more on. So this recipe would make about 8 portions. At the moment we've got 6. Put that to the side. Now all we do now is put this, I'll just wash my hands. All we do now is put this in a hot oven, 192, 190 degrees, uh, for about 20 minutes. And then uh, we'll pop it out and we'll serve it up. Alright guys, it's come out of the oven about 20 minutes, just under 20 minutes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out. It doesn't look that great at the moment, but we're just going to cut this. And check that it's cooked. Awesome. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on this platter because it's going to be cut in half and it's going to be shared amongst the table. Um, I'm going to put heaps of colour on it uh, to make it look awesome, um, but the taste is beautiful. Keeping to the Asian sort of influence, using rocket, mint, lime, spring onion, chilies, um, and of course a dollop of K2's chilli jam to go, to, to go on it. So I'll be back in a minute with a finished plate. Second time around, hey, second time around. Now, I've designed this plate so it's a shared table, so I can go down the middle of your dining table and you can serve it with a nice salad, a nice green purple salad, which is the next video. Um, the snake bean stuffed with pork mince. Uh, you can get the pork mince from your local butcher uh, and just garnish it, keeping in mind the Asian um, ingredients. So we've got mint, we've got rocket, we've got coriander, we've got spring onion, we've got chilies, we've got lime, and of course, our own chili jam at K2, a big dollop there for those who dare to eat it. Um, enjoy experimenting with the snake bean guys, um, it's a beautiful vegetable, it's versatile, you can go in curries, you can go in stir fries, you can, you can steam it, you can stuff it. Um, you don't have to use pork mince, you can use chicken mince, you can use beef mince, uh, you can do a vegetarian, fill it up with lots of vegetables, bake it, you don't even have to cut it in half, you can keep it tubed and then stuff it and then cook it in the oven. Um, you could do a baked lasagna in there, vegetarian. There's heaps of stuff you can do. Uh, like I said, the next on the video is a green purple salad that we serve at K2. Uh, so 
Enjoy this one, guys, and one after six. Second time.